Now we'll look at saving files and having a look through your documents. So let me just add something. This here. So now to save this project as before file, save as test. Save as Blender file. Now if you wanted to open a project, it's file open quite usefully it's open recent so any recent projects you've done are sitting there but if we want to open a project we can then click on this and go open but I now just want to have a look at how they work the documentation this little arrow means that it goes up one level so at the moment we are on my C drive the user Jonathan desktop so if we go up one level, you can see we now in Jonathan's files, user, up one more, just the user, and one more. That is my computer, my C drive. So I can go back to user, Jonathan, documents, and there's all my documents. Now they have put in a shortcut for the documents there, and shortcut to the desktop. So that was my desktop where I've been placing these projects. but documents can go in over there. I'll go back to desktop. If I want to add a folder to start putting a new project in, is create new directory. So if we go there, it asks you create new directory, there it is there. And then you press the enter key and that selects it so if you click on a folder you go into the folder you press on the arrow you get out of the folder now what can be useful is that you can bookmark certain folders within your file system and that is over here so if we go into project files and then press add you'll see it will be added there so if we go back into your documents and you want to then go to your project file where you've been working I have the notes on my desktop so I could go desktop with the shortcut is to project file and you'd be into that that's up one level um, then there is also a recents here and that says where you've recently opened files from so uh, we in open at the moment, so we could then open the first project I've done. There's something else you might have to look at is the user preferences. So it's file, we've been going new, we know open, open recent, we've done record our session, save, save as, save a copy, user preferences. So if we click on that you should get a window open but for some reason it's not happening with me but I, knew, I know how else I can get there if I click on this little icon there's the same user preferences so you would get by clicking on user preferences you get a window looking like this um, and it's got tabs across the top with a whole lot of settings now I don't use that one I don't fiddle with editing input, themes, file, system. As you can see this program is quite involved and uh, it's more than I can do but something I do do is work in add-ons often um, and uh, basically there are a number of things by clicking on this little box you can include it into your program um, and what I often need to do is the import export down here because I'm importing and exporting DXF files so I do want to switch that on so I can select that further down here you can see STL files is the import export file type for 3D printers that's already been switched on as a default um, but uh, is an important one to do so if there's something you need to import a type of file, often if you come here, 
you can switch it on and then you'll find it will suddenly appear in your import dialog box so save user setting so I've saved that now my main modeling window I changed into a user preference window so I need to then change it back to a 3D view window and there we are so I have saved my user preferences.